Hey, Ben from Make Use Of here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some Chromebook keyboard shortcuts. Now there's a whole lot of them, so I'm, in this video I'm going to show you the basic shortcuts, and check back for another video later where I'm going to dig into some more advanced shortcuts. Bear in mind that because a Chromebook is just Chrome running on a computer, a lot of the shortcuts that you'd see in Windows for stuff like opening your history, opening your downloads, and other common shortcuts like that are the exact same that they are on Windows. So in this video, I'm going to try to focus on shortcuts that are unique to Chromebooks, but you will see a few that work on other platforms too. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to go over 10 quick ones that are basic in this video. So the first thing is, on your Chromebook, you know the shelf is at the bottom of the screen. If you want to quickly open an item from your shelf, you can use Alt and the number that corresponds to it. So as you see here, for example, my Markdown Editor, the M, is on the third position. So if I hit Alt 3, it'll load that up, and there it is, nice and easy. So there it is. Second is Alt Tab. This is a favorite of pretty much every operating system, and Chrome OS has it too. Alt Tab simply switches between your recent windows. So by tapping it once, I go from Markdown to Chrome and back. You can also use Alt Shift Tab if you'd like to go in reverse. Our third is that Chromebooks, if you notice by default, do not include a delete key. And you can kind of remedy that with this. It's not really a shortcut. It's more just a function of how a Chromebook works. But it's worth mentioning anyway because it's confusing at first. If you use Alt and Backspace, you'll be able to delete forward. So if we see here, if we type something, if I just type Backspace, it's not going to do anything. But if I press Alt Backspace, it will delete forward. And of course, if you use Control with that, it'll delete the whole word. So Control Alt Backspace is like Control Delete on a Windows computer, it deletes the whole word in front of you. Another key you might not know on your Chromebook is actually there is the caps lock key. So by default, it's the search key, but you can also turn on caps lock on your Chromebook. So if you press alt search, you'll see a little pop up in the corner of your screen. You won't after you do it a couple times, but it'll tell you that caps lock is on. And then when you start typing, you'll see the capital text there. And then just press shift or hit alt search again to get rid of caps lock. If you're ever on your Chromebook and you don't know what's going on, you're kind of confused, you need some help, just press control question mark and you'll be brought to Chrome's help center. Here you can kind of get an overview of what's going on. You can see different categories of help and you can even be, contact Google if, if you're having a really specific problem that's not answered elsewhere. Continuing on that line of help, if you want to see all of the shortcuts that are available to you on your Chromebook kind of one at a time, if you press control alt slash, you'll get this little overlay that shows you what keys you can press to do different things. So for example, if we hold control, we can see what all the different keys do with control. So control Z is undo, control C is copy, and of course a host of other ones. So by holding shift, we can see all those, alt, and so on. So if you're kind of a visual learner, you always have this right here so that you can look at this and say, what shortcuts can I do right now? If I hold this key, go to that as many times as you need until you get it ingrained in you. A couple more shortcuts we'll go over. Just hit escape to get rid of that. Um, if you want to open your file browser on your Chromebook, Alt-Shift-M will open that right up. So you can open your files similar to many shortcuts on Windows. There it is. And if you want to take a screenshot on your Chromebook, this is really important if you're trying to show somebody um, a problem you're having or if you want to share some funny picture you saw or something you can't download it normally. So on your Chromebook, you have a Windows switcher key. If you have a standard computer, it's probably between the full screen key and the brightness down key, or right above 6 and 7. That's the window switcher key. It looks like a square with two lines next to it. If you press Control in that window switcher key, it'll capture a screenshot. They'll throw it in your downloads folder of your Chromebook. If you want to have a little more control over that, you can use Control shift window switcher. And as you see here, my cursor turns into a little plus symbol, and I'm able to draw an area I want to capture a screenshot of, let go, and it'll grab just that area. And our final tip for the basics video is that when you're going to a website, if Chrome isn't already auto-correcting it for you, you don't actually have to type out the entire website name. So let's say you want to go to the best tech website, Make Use Of. You can just type the word Make Use Of and then click Control Enter. And then Chrome will automatically append www and .com to the beginning and end of what you typed in. So if you use Chrome for a while, you probably have lots of bookmarks and shortcuts already built in, so you don't really have to worry about this. But if for some reason you ever need to go to a website that you go to all the time, YouTube, just YouTube, and then Control-Enter instead of www.youtube.com.
So that's the basics video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new to the Chromebook, these will definitely help you to get around a lot easier. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you're going to be seeing a lot more tech, tech help videos, reviews, giveaways. And if you'd like to check out the full list of Chrome keyboard shortcuts, make sure to check out the video or the, the Oracle link in the description because there's a ton more shortcuts in there. So thank you for watching. And until next time, keep it at make use of.